Um, no. but you're when I got there, I thought, well, in the circumstances that I had no contact with my husband, and wasn't likely to have from New York, then I would rather come home. You wasn't likely to have contact, but... Uh, from New York, no. You weren't mm. expecting him to contact you, though? Well, uh, I don't really know where he is. Yeah. I mean, I imagine all the time that, that you will know something about him more than I will. But I would only have stayed in New York if I thought in that way I would have had... To are you very worried about the fact that you haven't heard from him since you left? Uh, well, from the newspapers, I gather that he's probably not uh, able to write letters. <laughs> the thing is, bad, I mean, I don't know where he is. Do you know anything of his parents at all? No, I mean, <laughs> all I know is what I read in newspapers. What about the letter that they have produced now? I didn't partake in it in any way. I mean, I wasn't active. But you didn't know anything. I won't answer that question. Your, 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 your husband's cousin, Dave Margot, has said you, you know, you're sympathetic, a great supporter. Your husband, what do you say to that? Um, That's Dr. Miro, if I pronounce his name correctly. Yes, well... I have something to say about that because I've been looking at some of the papers on the way down here and um, oh, for the past few weeks Dr. Miro has been uh, making statements to the press about his participation in some impending revolution and uh, it seems to me that if he really wanted to help my husband instead of making statements to the press, um, and instead of now sitting in New York's luxury Hampshire house, he might uh, be in the mountains with a handful of men or wherever it is that my husband is at the moment. I think so I see that he's... Um, uh, well, I read it in the newspapers. Do you know if he's safe, uh, Dan Margo? I don't know anything more than I read in the newspapers, so what, what go and look at the papers. A letter from him to arrive at uh, your home in Kensington? When, when, how will he next contact you? Where will he write? I don't know how you expect me to be able to answer that. Must be I know. For you, when did you last hear? I didn't hear from him. I saw him. Uh, well, when did you well, that's what I'm not talking about, no. because in any case, you can read that in the newspapers. Uh, may I ask them, I've got one or two questions for the cameras for a couple of minutes so that we can get... I would like to, while we were talking about Mr. Miro, I would simply like to say that I read in the Daily Express, I think, some sort of questionnaire, where he had given questions and answers. And um, it seems from that that he is suggesting that he is in touch with me and my husband, and he says, we about the whole thing and it seems to try to give an impression that while I was in New York I would have seen him or spoken to him and he I would just like to. You. He says he did see me. Mm. Mm. Well, well that I would like to flatly contradict because it uh, it is definitely untrue. I did not see him. I did not go near Hampshire House where he was staying and he claims in one paper that I was staying in Hampshire House. I didn't go near it while I was in New York. Well, and I just would like to say that. No, I just wanted to say that about it because I read it in the papers this morning, and no. that fact is definitely untrue. And therefore, the other answers that he gives to questions can probably also be taken with a grain of salt. Do you know, on a more personal level, um, which one should level? I, Could I ask any of the with Dr. Nero? Is that I'm sorry, I, is everybody's talking at once. What you are in fact saying is that you are denying any association with Dr. Nero or his activities. Is that right? No, I'm just saying that as I was reading in the papers, certain statements he made, I can certainly contradict one or two of them, and therefore it may be that some of the other things he's saying are, uh, are untrue. He's trying to say that, uh, that I have been in contact with him in New York. What you know about that, uh, you know, I have not been. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's part of the whole thing to do with Panama, which I won't talk about. You know, there's nothing in existence for the fact that you one or two personal questions. Are you feeling very tired? Um, well, I'm a little tired, yes, this I'm not been feeling a, very tired. I'm has this been tired. a very harassing experience for you? Um, I don't know. Do I look as though I've been through a very harassing Certainly experience? Not. No. Uh, I, I think I don't feel too bad. You were well, treated in the jail in Mexico. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to say anything about Why, why were you sent to jail? Yeah. What is your explanation? Okay. For I, d I don't want to answer any questions about that whole matter. Well, why, why don't you want to talk about Panama? Um, yeah. Partly because um, 
I've had previous unhappy experiences with, if you'll forgive me saying so, the gentleman with the us. London Press, <laughs> if you'll excuse me being so impolite, with misquoting me and uh, distorting things that I've said. And on this case with Panama, I would be, could perhaps be extremely embarrassed. You think it's delicate if, enough um, not, you can't afford to be misquoted? Well, I would say once bitten, twice shy. Are you worried about your husband? But I mean, if, if, um, I've lost it. <laughs> what do you think? Are you in complete sympathy with your husband's alleged activities, Dave Marlowe? I think that's a very unfair question to ask. The straight question. May I, may I follow up and ask whether there's any rift between you, the fact you don't know where he is because of these alleged activities? Oh, I think that's an extraordinary interpretation to put on it. Well, I can't imagine how you could have thought of so such an you, interpretation any, of the circumstances. Have you had really? anything to do with this um, um, planned revolt at all? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I couldn't answer a question. You can't like answer that. a question. You, you, no. you, you, you won't say no. anything. I said fine. What are your plans now, Denmark? Are you going to stay in England for a little while? Are you going back to Panama? What are you thinking of doing? Mm. If there should be some chance of seeing my husband, I would go immediately to Panama. Are you still going to Poland to dance? Yes, I know. I know what I read in the papers. The last thing I read was not, that he, he, that he was in the country. You, you know that Panama he had landed. Panama are now saying that although they released you, they now have enough evidence to hold you, and they couldn't care less what the British embassy said. Now that they found his letters, yes. Ah, well, they would have to say that. Do you think he's in it? Would you, you, you still they go were, back to Panama? They also said they told you, Denmark. Did they, did they actually spell you all at your own request because both things were said? Well, that's getting back to... Well, if I start mm -hmm. answering these questions yes, about Panama, I'll get involved. Could you go back? Could you go back? Or, uh, mm -hmm. She'll go back. She'll be next. Mm -hmm. No. It's uh, too hypothetical, all this questioning. Surely you're, you're all I'm saying that. is that if I had a chance to see my husband, I would go immediately. Mm -hmm. And that said, if I had a chance to see him, well, if I had a chance, it would mean that I were able to get into Panama and see him. You'd risk prison again uh, to see your husband? Well, if I were put in prison, I probably wouldn't be able to see him. <laughs> He'd probably be there, So anyway. that would mean I didn't have a chance to see him, so there wouldn't be any point in going. I mean, just too... Yeah, you wouldn't what would you I won't say anything you won't about, say anything that, about that. that. Does, what about Judy? Does she say anything about that? Um, yeah. The revolt, the people. Oh, I can't say anything about that, really. I'm not, uh, I'm not a born Panamanian, after all, and the, com the politics in Panama are very complicated, and I really couldn't say anything about that. I mean, I, on, I do like sir. Panama. It is, as I say, my second country. I like it very much. I hope very much to return to the country. And I, was, I wouldn't even say that I'm glad to have left. I mean, I'm glad to be back in England, but I don't want that to imply that I'm glad to have got out of Panama. Right? Well, you won't even the country. Dean Margaret, to being a critic of the administration now. Oh, no, I didn't. I mean, these reports haven't place. only come from this side of the Atlantic, you know. It isn't only no, no, it's really not. Home. It's not my place to criticise the administration of Panama, and I wouldn't course, dream of doing such a thing. How did, but of course, you I don't know enough about <laughs> it. Your loyalty to your husband <laughs> um, is it not embarrassing at times. Uh, he, has, he has been painted as a very active uh, critic, to use a mild word, word of this administration.